Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We all having a beautiful, beautiful day. Today's video, we're going to be doing a career sim. A little bit different again from Diamond Dynasty. Taking a little break. I'm trying to test out some different video ideas I have. And I've always wanted to do a career sim. I was trying to find the right player for it. And the Seattle Mariners are a rebuilding franchise right now. They have the third best farm system in baseball. Top prospects like Jared Kelnick, Julio Rodriguez, Kyle Lewis won Rookie of the Year this past season. You got Logan Gilbert, Sam Carlson, Justin Dunn, Garrison Bautista, Novelli Marte, and a few others in there. Emerson Hancock as well, if you want to go to the 2020 draft. Anyways, I go on and on about the Seattle Mayors. So why not do a career sim based about a team that I know very well, been crying a lot since it's been 19 years since they made it to the postseason. And we're going to do a career sim of the 2020 Rookie of the Year, Kyle Lewis. I want to do career sims of Julio Rodriguez and Jared Kelnick as well, but we're really going to focus on Kyle Lewis here and see how he does with the team. And so, yeah, that's going to be today's video. If you have any players you'd like to see, let me know down in the comments section. I obviously would like to do other than Seattle Mariner players. So there's someone you want to see like Joe Adele, Luis Robert. Let me know down in the comments section. Get involved down there. So, without further ado, let's hop into here. We're going to choose the Mariners, obviously. And uh, GM contracts are off. If you're curious who the rosters are, I'm going to put it up right there. Just look up that name, and I use the rosters after the 2020 trade deadline. So, it's got all the latest roster moves up until September 2nd, 2020. Uh, so, there's nothing new right now or anything else like that. So, no GM contracts. I'm going to leave everything set to auto except for um some of this stuff because actually i'm gonna put everything in manual i tried to do a sim about five minutes ago and i caught uh julio rodriguez and kyle lewis were both traded so we're gonna start over here and we're gonna set everything to manual and we'll just auto sim everything i'm gonna let the computer do everything for the most part but yeah the uh computer traded away kyle lewis and julio rodriguez in the first month and a half of the season sick so we got to make sure I got to double check here. So we got to double check here real fast that that is all set to manual. Perfect. Let's go into the lineup screen. Kyle Lewis is there. Love to see that. Look at his stats here. Center fielder, 74 overall, 70 contact versus right, 68 versus left, medium sized power as well. Okay play vision, okay fielding, and okay speed. But he has that A potential that is super nice. And you go to his 29, 20 at 19 season 268. And then 2020 won AL Rookie of the Year for the Mariners, but that's going to be simmed, obviously. And then you look at who they have on their lineup, too. We got Evan Whites, who's a um, A potential as well at first base. I'm surprised he's a 79 feeling. He won a gold glove this past, uh, I guess, so technically, they don't know he won a gold glove yet, but he won a gold glove in 2020. And then you also got JP Crawford, A potential out there. The Mariners got him from the Phillies. He actually won a gold glove in 2020 as well for the Mariners. The Mariners had two gold glove winners and a Rookie of the Year. Kind of crazy. So there we go. And then we got our switch hitting prospect catcher on the bench. His face scan. Oh dear. And then if you go into the Mariners roster, we're going to keep an eye on this. We're going to keep an eye on these three pitchers. Emerson Hancock, George Kirby, Logan Gilbert. And then you also have Justice Sheffield with the A potential, which is super nice. Dunn, Kikuchi, and Marco with the B potential. And then you go to... Where are we going here? Seth. You got Ty France. The Mariners got from the Padres. Nice addition right there. And then there's our 18-year-old stud, Novelli Marte, right there. That is, he is so good. He's going to be the future Mariner shortstop. I guarantee it. And then left field, you got Taylor Trammell. You know, it's crazy, man. You look at this Mariner's roster, like, how the heck do they pull this off? I have no idea. Then you got, obviously, Malik Smith is no longer with the Mariners, but he's going to be there. You got Jared Kelnick, you know, top 10 prospect in baseball. And then you got Julio Rodriguez, a crisp 18 years old, top 10 prospect as well. And yeah, the Mariners are doing pretty good in the prospect side of things. So there's definitely a lot of plus side to this Seattle Mariners team. So yeah, we're just going to sim through everything. We're going to let the CPU do all the trades and everything. Uh, hopefully they don't trade away Kyle Lewis. Everything's set to manual now. So we should be good. Um and not, you know, get our players traded. So I'm going to get back to you here in a second once we've seen the first season and see how Kyle Lewis does in his first full rookie season. Welcome back. 
This goes to show you how good the Seattle Mariners farm system is. The, their double-A team just won the championship series, and now they're about to take on another team in the championship series. And they won the Texas League Championship Series. That's how good the Mariners farm system is, man. Holy cow, I'm excited for this young team. Okay, so the Mariners have finished 62 and 100. Was not good enough to make the postseason. I like to stop simulating because I'd love to see what Kyle Lewis did. Also, we take a peek at the postings here. We got the Angels making the postseason, the Oakland Athletics, Tampa Bay, White Sox, and Yankees, Reds, Washington, Atlanta, San Diego, and Dodgers. So let's take a look at statistics here, player stats. How did we end up this year? Let's go take a look. Kyle Lewis, he played. Oh, he progressed. Oh, his potential went down to a B. 75 overall. He, okay. Hit 228 his first full season. 24 home runs, 72 RBIs. He struck out 166 times. Uh, average 228, on base percentage of 283s, OPS of 694. That is not what I expected. I thought it would be a little bit better for him. I'm not going to lie. Oh, man. He did see, yeah, how many errors? He had five errors out in the outfield, 2.2 uh, war, K rate, 27% K rate. Oh, 6.8% walk rate. That's not good. Not good in his first full season. I always like to look at stats and other players, see how they progress a little bit. I know it's. Like I said, it's a career sim of Kyle Lewis, but kind of interesting to see what J.P. Crawford did. Uh, Dylan Moore and Evan White was another young guy I wanted to see. 257 in the first full season. 23 home runs. That'd be nice to the Mariners. And Kyle Seager, obviously degressing. I mean, 235. That's a typical Kyle Seager season at this point. Anyways, how did our rookie, our rookie catcher do, by the way? B potential. He hit 223. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? I could look forever at stats. Let's look at the pitching real fast, too. How did... Justin Dunn uh, went up a little bit. Nice, nice. Anyways, don't worry about these players. Let's uh, let's move ahead here, and uh, I'll meet you guys back around the third season and see how Kyle Lewis is doing. All right, we'll go. We'll sim through season two and season three, and go to end of season three and see how he does. All right, so the third season is now completed. Let's take a peek here and see what happened to Mr. Kyle Lewis in his second and third years. Let me go to roster here. And you can already see the Mariners have made some moves. They signed Noah Sidegard in the offseason, by the way. Huge move for them. We'll hit to center field. Kyle Lewis. 2021 hit 249. 2022 hit 241. 33 home runs, 98 RBIs. Better offensive production. Strikeouts were down. Just his batting average is down from the past last season. On base of 311. OPS of 771 down from last year. But yeah, 78 overall right now, progressing not too bad. He's 26, though. He's going to have to pick that up a little bit out here. I noticed the Mariners did get rid of or didn't re sign Jared Kelnick, which was interesting. Julio Rodriguez is in the starting lineup, uh, which is cool to see. But yeah, Carlos is going to keep on going. Definitely not falling up his rookie year uh, numbers, but you know what? Hitting freaking 40, was it 42, 33 home runs. We're at the 40s from 33 home runs, his third full season in Major League Baseball. Not too shabby, shy of 100 RBIs. It's pretty good production. He needs to get that batting average up a little bit. But I keep telling you, it's just super interesting to see the other players progress as they are doing it. So we're just going to keep on simming here and uh, we'll go a few more years and see what happens. Mariners finally finished the winning record, by the way 89 and 73. Not good enough to make the postseason. I have to see it real fast. Let's take a peek here at the standings. Where's the standings at here? The Mariners missed the postseason by four games to the Astros. What was the wild card standings? I'm kind of curious here. The wild card standings, they were four games out with the uh, Tampa Bay race. Dang, man, that sucks. Let's While we're here, why don't we take a look at Kyle Lewis, see how he's doing here. Let's go to the player statistics here. And Kyle Lewis is right here. 84 overall B potential. 2023, he hit 31 home runs, 117 RBIs, and hit 296. And then 2024, 25 home runs, 83 RBIs, 150 strikeouts. He played a little bit less games. He wonder if he was injured or something. OPS of 816, though, still pretty good. Slugged 464. Not as good as his 2023 season. It's kind of interesting to see how these Mariner players are kind of progressing as well. Like I said, I'm keeping an eye on Julio Rodriguez. His batting average is just not there. His power numbers are there, though, which is super nice. Shed Long has been a surprise. 
92 overall shed long. That's nutty. Holy cow. Look at his season he put up too. 34 home runs, 94 RBIs. This is a shed long sim. Holy cow. Wow. Do the Mariners have Jake Lamb, by the way? Ray Lamb? You love to see it. How did Jake Lamb do the season? 24 home runs, 72 RBIs. Jeez Louise. He produced out there. Here's our rookie. Here's our catcher. And Mike Zanino esque. Jeez Louise. Okay. What about Tramel? Tramel. Ah, not terrible. Not terrible. Okay. Well, let's keep on simming on through here. Maybe the Mariners will make a postseason appearance. We'll see. By the way, the Mariners score the third amount of runs. Hold on. No, they didn't. Oh, batting average. Hold on. Yeah, the Mariners scored the third most runs in the uh, in the American League, I think. Wow. Oh, no, the, in baseball in general. Holy cow, the Mariners scored the third amount of most runs. It's such a Mariner thing to do. Scored the third most amount of runs and somehow still missed the postseason. That's just that's just the Mariner, Mariner way right there. Third in triples, too. And fourth in home runs with 241. Wow. Okay. Okay. Anyways, let's keep let's keep simming on through here. Okay, okay, okay. We are back. He is 31 now. Kyle Lewis has just been kind of mediocre, to be honest. I thought he would maybe be a little bit better. Over uh, 200 career home runs now. Almost 700 career RBIs. He strikes out a lot. His average is around 250. He had his one good season in 2023 where he hit 296 with 31 home runs and 117 RBIs. But yeah, he's been just kind of middle of the uh, border when it comes to everything else. His OPS around the seven high or medium 700s and everything else. I thought he would be doing a little bit better, but you know what? His attributes aren't too bad either. You know, you're looking at 68, 81 power versus righties. Good, good durability. Went up to 82 fielding, 70 speed. But man, this really is turning into the Julio Rodriguez simulation. I mean... 99 overall for Julio Rodriguez. You're watching the video like clutch. This is a Kyle Lewis career sim, and yeah, you're looking at Julio. I know this is crazy. This is so cool to see, honestly. I mean, look at this guy 54 home runs, 42 down season last year, hit 303 this year. Um, and they're paying him 31 million dollars a year. Insane. And we also somehow ended up with Alex Bregman towards the end of his career, and he's just kind of falling off for us. So it's kind of interesting to see what the CPU gets for you. I mean, you know, you have freaking Jared Walsh, Kyle Tucker's on the team. Um, and then if you go to the pitching side of things, I'm just super curious. Logan Gilbert, Syndergaard, Emerson Hancock, Kirby, and then Trey Riley, um, who must be a rookie for the Mariners, which is kind of cool to see out here. Justin Dunn's still in the bullpen. Garrison Bautista is still on the team uh, for the Seattle Mariners. He's got one year left on his contract. Um, Do they re-sign Logan Gilbert at all? Uh, free agent next season. What about Syndergaard? What's he got left on his contract? Free agent at the end of the year. They're paying him how much? $37.8 million for Noah Syndergaard. All right, Seattle. Sick. What about Emerson Hancock out here? They qualifying offer. I'm assuming we're probably going to lose some of these guys. Oh, they did sign George Kirby for a bit. That's nice. That is nice. What about Justin Dunn? Is he still under arbitration? Probably. Yep, still under arbitration. So, yeah, that is what we're looking at right now for Mr. Kyle Lewis, Julio Rodriguez, Kyle Tucker's a 95 overall, and uh, Andres Gomez for the Mariners. I think he was a draft choice, too. Yeah, he was a draft selection. Not bad. 89 overall, Tramel's an 88. And yeah, our Kyle Lewis, man, is not, not doing too hot right now. He had kind of a down year. So we'll keep on going until he retires, and we'll make sure that he stays a Seattle Mariner. They traded him away for a second. I ain't going to lie. I'm super new to these rebuilds. And yeah, they traded Kyle Lewis or they let him go in free agency. The Mariners did sign Luis Roberts, which I thought was kind of funny. But yeah, we'll make sure to keep him. And we're going to sim a few more years and see what happens. All right, we want one more year. And he is really starting to trend down. He was up to an 85 overall. Now he's a 79. Hit 23 home runs, 58 RBIs. Man, 2023 is looking like his peak season almost. Holy cow. His batting average was up. His on-base percentage was down. Slugging was up. OPS at 802, which is a little bit nice. But he only played 103 games. He must have been injured or something. I don't know what happened, but we're definitely going to have to re-sign him. He's unhappy right now. Um, he is a platoon player right now. I'm going to have to take a look at that. He's making some good money, though. What is he upset about? Team performance. Yeah, and now the contender. We'll we'll take a look at the lineup. He's in the, he's in the lineup, though. Right-handed pitchers. 
Yeah, he's in the lineup. I don't know why he's... Oh, he's on the bench versus lefties. That's why. Okay, so that makes sense. And to 2031. My God, the Mariners keep trying to not re-sign Kyle Lewis. I don't know what's going on. I've kept having to make a few trades. He was in AAA this time. We got him on a contract through to 2033 now. It's been a freaking struggle. Anyways, look at his stats right now. And he has hit over 300 career home runs. Almost 1,000 career RBIs. I, it's just mediocre at most. I thought he would be a little bit better in that batting average wise. I would think maybe 270, 280 career. Home runs seem about right for Kyle Lewis. RBIs production wise, like I said, 2023, 31 home runs, 117 RBIs is best production level. But, you know, he's still he's still out there getting 20 plus home runs, 25 plus home runs. You know, um, he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine nine career nine years of 25 plus home runs you had there 10 and 11 11 of his uh 12 years he's hit at least 20 home runs oh 13 years excuse me which is not bad for a player so i mean there's his stats right there 63 66 81 does not hit lefties well he does not hit lefties well at all his fielding's kind of there 66 it's never really improved too much i think with the saw was 82 overall and yeah, so we just, we, uh, we've had him leading off. I mean, still, like I said, it's the Julio Rodriguez as well. Julio Rodriguez hit 58 home runs. I, I just can't get over the fact that this card is doing so well. I'm going to do his own simulation and build around him a little bit more. But holy cow, I did not expect that. Anyways, I'm just shocked. I'm a big Julio Rodriguez fan. It's just kind of interesting, too. Emerson Hancock is still our starting pitcher on the Mariners as well. Not a bad dude. Almost 2,000 career strikeouts. Kind of cool. It's my first time really doing a career sim before. So hopefully, I don't know how I'm doing. Like I said, I've struggled with Kyle Lewis a lot. I know a lot of stuff set to auto, but I'm trying to figure out a way. But yeah, so Kyle Lewis, like I was saying, he's, you know, 78 overall, 12 years of service, 35 years old. I assume he's got three or four more years, you know. We could see him after the 2033 season getting released or retiring. We'll see how his stats go. But we're just going to leave him in the team and uh, we'll sim up until 2032, see how his next two seasons are. All right. All right. Two seasons have passed. And man, oh man, is Kyle Lewis now regressing terribly. 387 career home runs. He's had three seasons in a row, he's played every single game. His average last season, 264, is one of his better averages um, other than 2029 and 2023, which is kind of crazy to see that. But yeah, 235 on base is terrible. He got caught stealing 10 times. Oh my goodness. Yeah, 26 home runs, though, 25 doubles, six triples. Wow. 144 hits, 137 strikeouts. Doesn't, you know, walk in, you know. But yeah, OPS of 717 for 30. How old is he? 37 years old right now contract it's the last season and then he comes a free agent so i gotta make sure to try and resign him if he doesn't retire hopefully he does not retire um i'd like to keep going i love to hit 400 career home runs with kyle lewis i mean still age 37 knocking in 26 home runs is pretty good for you know 37 year old out there mainly playing dh we'll see if we can get to 400 home runs oh my gosh kyle lewis is down to a 65 overall he played 161 games. He had another 26 home run season. He got 413 total career home runs. His, his career is winding down right here. There's no way he comes back another season, right? 149 hits, 27 doubles. His attributes, his contact is down. His power is down. His fielding is down. His speed is deteriorating. Dude, this guy is falling apart. Holy cow. Contract. I accidentally offered him the $21.8 million. So this dude made mother flipping bank at age 38. Don't mind me being a rookie at franchise, okay? Let's hope this let's hope that uh he does not will advance. The by the way, the Rockies won the World Series. Crazy. Send to the offseason here. And we got retired players. And there it is. We got Kyle Lewis until 2034 so we got 15 years of mlb service out of him final stats one more time to 39 years old 15 years of service his final stats 52 contact 50 that doesn't really too matter stats this is the big thing 413 career home runs his career high was looks to be 37 home runs 
back in 2029 hit 271 his high rbis was 117 in 2023 that's probably arguably his best season his highest i think his 890 was his highest ops if i'm not mistaken yeah high yeah so that was his best season 890 ops hit 296 on base of 362 slugged 527 um not bad at all and i how, how did he do in the fielding out there six airs not not too bad i wish he told you if they won like gold gloves or like awards or stuff like that but yeah 2249 career games 2230 career hits 436 doubles 57 triples 1200 rbis 890 walks struck out 2300 times sold 93 bases career average of 252 on base of 324 and an OPS of 778. So kind of in the middle, I would want to say for outfielders. But you know what? You can't go wrong with hitting 400 career home runs. He was definitely a very big 20 plus home run guy every single year for the Seattle Mariners. So pretty interesting to see that. I ain't going to lie. And he finished his final year as a Mariner with 26 home runs. So, but yeah, so that's the career simulation. I learned a lot about it. I had to resign Kyle Lewis like 17 times. I had to trade for him like four times. So, you know what? You live and you learn. Um, but, yeah, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more career sims and see how certain players pan out, let me know. Leave a comment down in the comment section, please. Leave a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah, I will be back again. Hope you have a beautiful day. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Bye.